Hey peeps, this is Mango. Welcome to a computer craft tutorial. In this in this series, hopefully series anyway, um, we'll be uh, I'll be showing computer craft code for the absolute beginner that might know nothing about code, but hopefully you'll learn something. So I'm just going to go and jump jump straight into it. So as you can see, I made a little lab for myself. Hopefully it will support what we'll be doing now and in the future or in the next videos and whatnot. Okay, so if you want to get started with computer craft. All you're going to need is a computer. I recommend an advanced computer. You can get a normal computer, um, but advanced computer, as you'd expect, is better. Um, this is the recipe. Um, the normal computer is just stone instead of gold ingots, but um, as I already mentioned, advanced is a bit better. So, put it on my desk. There we are. Um, yeah, I've made a little bit of a seat for myself. Okay, so, this is the computer. Um, when there's no little terminal, there'll be a little terminal thing flashing. So let's just open it up. And as you can see, it's booted up. This is the terminal. So you can type commands in here, and they'll, um, they'll execute. Um, so run, they'll run the commands. As you can see, it's flashing now. So we'll open our seat. Um, OK, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a program. So you don't. Um, you don't type new space the program or anything. You type edit space the program. So we're going to go edit space um, program one. Okay. So now we've opened up the editor. Um, so if you press control on your keyboard, you can access a menu. And using the arrow keys, you can navigate to the menu. Um, we can click exit. Um, one thing you do want to make sure you um, remember is the pro the program name, and also. Um, to save your to save your work after um, after you've done a bit of work on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to get when we type in the name of the program, we're going to say hello world because that's what a lot of people say when they first get started into coding. So print hello. I want to do it like I want to do it like formally capitals like that. There we are. So. I not only aim just to figure out like what I don't want to show you guys how to just write the code. I want to show you guys also how the code works because otherwise you wouldn't be inspired to make more. Um, okay, so this is the command. This tells the computer what you want to do. This, these bits in the brackets, they show little inf extra information about this. Often it is actually essential. Like as you can see here, this is essential to it. Speech marks show that it's a a sentence or technically speaking a string, but we'll get to that in a bit. So if we press control and save, control and and then control and exit, we type program one. There we are. Got your first program. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to put a bit more logic into this. Because at the moment you can't really do much with just this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create something called a variable. A variable is basically a little box storing some information. Um, generally, there's three different types of information. There's a string, which is um, a bunch of numbers and letters. Well, it can be numbers. This is a string, as you can see. It's a character. It's a character. A bunch of characters. Um, a integer is a is a whole number. It, I think it could be a decimal, but I can't remember if it if you can put decimals in integer. In the integer, the other type is boolean. A boolean is true or false, or it could be on or off, or it could be one or zero. It basically just means on or off, and it really it really is just saying um, if this happens or if this doesn't happen. We'll get to that in a bit. So first, we're going to do is going to type local. Um, local means um, this variable is exclusive to this program because otherwise all the programs on this computer could access this variable and that would be a little bit annoying of course you can remove this if you like but for this for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna leave it in there um, so what we're gonna call it, we're gonna call it okay, I guess we'll call the variable test and we're gonna equals I'm gonna say hello world so basically we're assigning this string or a bunch of characters to this word. So if I'm correct about this, um, we can get rid of this oh, and put test in here instead. 
So basically, it's just going to, as you can see, there's no speech marks on this, because it's just going to get this variable. If you put no speech marks on it, it's going to get the variable for that. So we're going to save it. Hopefully this will work. And there we are. It says hello. It says hello world. So, okay. So there we are, we've made our own variable, so let's see what we can do next. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to put some more, we're going to make a little maths, a little calculator. Um, but we're, we're going to work on adding things together first. So if we go local uh, first number, yeah, first number, num, I guess, um, and we'll call that 3, okay? And we'll call the next one second num equals 5. So if we just put this down one line, we'll still get... Actually, let, let's tell you what, let's get rid of this. So we're not, in, we're, not interf we're not, like, interfering with the other bit. So now it will just... it won't do anything. Only these um, variables will only be assigned. Nothing will print out. So we're going to go print. Hope this will work. Um, let's see first num plus second num. You can probably see how this works. It's getting the first num, which is 3, plus um, the second num, which is 5. <laughs> Once again, I hope this will work, so let's go ahead and save it. And 8. There we are. So if we go back in there, uh, you can see 3, three plus 5 is 8. So we can change this around, like, I don't know, <laughs> program one, oh. there we are. Hey guys, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to investigate if statements. If is, as you probably might have guessed, if this happens, do this, if it, something else happens, do this. So, if I can remember correctly, um, okay, so we'll create a look, we'll create a variable. Um, test one equals equals one. Okay. So if test one equals one, then print. So we'll indent it, which if I hit, I hit tab, and I'll show you why I do that in a minute. Um, print test one is equal. Test one is equal to one. Okay, you can ch you can change this. Um, so then we're going to go print. Okay. Um, I'm I put I put this thing here just to demonstrate the indent indentation, and then we're going to go back oh, and end. So basically, what's happening here is if test 1 is 1, which it is, then we do this. We do what's in here. That might be a little bit confusing to understand. And then we'll end it. So, the indentation is just to show that this is all um, part of the if statement. The if. Um, another thing we're going to do is we're going to go else. So basically, if, um, if it's not equal to 1 and it's something else, then we'll do something else. So print test 1 isn't equal to 1. Okay, so if it's not 1, then we'll just say that. We can also say something else. So we'll save it. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, okay, so that's what's going on here. I derped up. Okay, um, might be because of this, might have to put two equals here. Okay, so that's what the problem was. Um, when you're doing if statements, make sure to put two equals. Okay, so, as you'd expect, test 1 is equal to 1, and it says OK on the next line. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, we're, now we're going to set it to 3 and see what happens. So now it's isn't equal to 1, because that's what we said to do. 
Pretty cool. Very nice. This this is a, this if statement. This um, if statement is very very helpful. So the next thing I'm going to have a look at is a while statement. Oh, while a while um, function. Okay. So while basically means loop this, keep looping it until it doesn't apply anymore. So I'll go while. So let's create a variable once again. Local test one equals uh, three. While test one equals three. Do print this is probably spamming the log. Okay. End. Nope. Save it. And we'll go program one. Okay, this is what we missed. Let's see. So these error messages will come up. I haven't done computer craft in a while, so get some of the stuff. Uh, okay, once again this needs to be double equals obviously. Um, okay, let's run it with a capital and as you can see it's spamming the log now. So, um, basically it's saying, oh there we are, so it, it, it does that because it doesn't want to, um, this is the inbuilt um, operating system, it does that because it's just spamming. Um, so basically, what was going on there? Let's have a look at it. Um, it's set to three. Test one is set to three, and while it's set to three, do this because there's no way we can set it. Set it else. Well, it's always going to be three, so it's going to just um, write that all the time. Okay, guys. So that'll be it for this computer craft tutorial. Um, next episode, we'll be getting to some more advanced stuff, including interfacing with the world more. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.